Hey yo, <clears throat> Triple C here, man. I uh, I want to start this video off on the right foot, and I gotta do that by showing my grill, ladies and gentlemen. Right, like I did a Instagram live on this. I know I'm a lot calmer now, and um, because I'm just trying to be. Trust me. Um, but uh, picked up my grill. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know what this book is. It's been on CBSI, Top 100, other, you know, hard to find variants lists for quite some time. But Wolverine 1, um, J. Scott Campbell variant, right? This was signed by J. Scott Campbell himself. Um, has the custom label 9.6. So I don't plan on moving this unless I absolutely have to while I'm doing this haul. Uh, hopefully you guys are okay with it. Guys and gals are okay with it. Uh, but I, I, I wanted to start with this, right? And, um, give it this time and, and, you know, go from there. Okay. So I'm going to start with this off. I don't want to make this so long. My last video was like over 40 some minutes and I don't want to do that to you guys again. I don't want to do it to myself. Okay. So I have a huge haul, like a huge haul since my last one. I'm going to still have books that are coming in from whatnot, uh, eBay, um, Instagram, no Facebook. And um, I'm just going to roll all that into another haul in February, okay? Because I don't want to do another long haul. But I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to try to keep it in frame. Um, because that, ladies and gents, is, is, is here now. You know, it's not going anywhere. But my wife and I have been doing a lot of um, whatnot sales. My wife way more than me when it comes to whatnot. Uh, she loves Thorough site. She loves... Um, and I got into Mighty Mel V and a couple of the guys that, and gals and gals that's out there, Skeleton and Key Comics, uh, that's doing a lot of great things on whatnot. Um, so if you guys aren't on it, I, I would recommend it. It's some deals to be had. Um, so just check it out. That's all I'm going to give you, right? You do what you do with your money and your time, but um, it's fun to get chat and, and all that good stuff. So picked up a couple of books. Some of it... Um, Absolutely, the usual spot. Something nothing, nothing new here, right? Um, but this right here is Penthouse Comics. This was a throw in, it's number 27, and I didn't really want this one. I was seeking number 28 because Mr. Longshore from CBS I showed it before. I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta try that book. But it's some, <laughs> it's some rated R stuff in here, man. Obviously, Penthouse Comics, right? But I read this one, uh, but again, this wasn't one I was chasing. It's damaged, so I mean, it's. I probably post it back up somewhere to get rid of it because that wasn't the one I was chasing. It was number 28 I was chasing. This is just a beautiful, beautiful cover in my opinion. Again, I first seen this on um, Mr. Long Shorts. Uh, I think it was his Instagram. And I was just literally just chasing after that, okay? So I got a couple books here. A lot of my wife, uh, from, from my wife's pickups from whatnot and so on. So, uh, and there are a lot of version variants, okay? So, bear with me as I go through this, all right? Um, Venom, version variant. I didn't get all the details for this, guys, because it's a lot of track down version variants. You got to open it up. You guys know if you don't know the book or it doesn't come with any type of COA, you got to kind of, you know, dig it up. And I, honestly, I need to get this haul done because we have a huge CGC submission we're looking to push out. Um, and I think my wife is getting a little bit antsy, so I want to shoot this video so we can, you know, lay it all the books out that we're looking to really submit and then go from there. So I apologize for the lack of information. And if it seems like I'm rushing this, I'm really not trying to. I just, um, I'm trying to, you know, happy wife, happy life. We get it. All right. So it's Venom 27. This is Venom 26. Tyler Kirkham variant. Power Rangers, Darken, New Dawn, number one, Virgin Variant. Like I said, these, she got this whole Virgin Variant lot from this this guy. He had a great auction going on. I'm not going to knock it, man, but um, it was for a mystery box. We didn't win a mystery box, but we end up getting a lot of cool Virgin Variants, which is fine. You know, we didn't know. Um, I'm not mad. It's just, this is what we have. This is my home. <laughs> this one is the, uh, the Boys, Dear Becky, number one. Uh, fourth print variant. A lot of these are from Street Level Heroes. Am I saying that right? 
Yep, Street Liver Heroes. Uh, he threw in this one too, part of Mystery Box uh, custom art for Gwen. For Gwen, I don't know if I can say the artist name right, but you guys see it. So, boom. So thank you to them. Uh, Wolverine nineteen. This one actually doesn't come out until it says February twenty twenty two. Inside, I, I put some gloves on, went through this whole all these Virgin variants. So I can see what they were about, but this one says. February 2022 release date uh, for Wolverine 19. Uh, which one is this one? I think I got this one. Nope. All right. All right. Next up is uh, Marauders number 22. Another Virgin variant. Ice Queen. Just beautiful, beautiful cover. Um. You guys know David Nakayama's been like killing it for 2022 uh, based on a lot of covers coming out, but some of his older work too, you know, been heating up. So part of the Virgin variant lot that we received included a couple of his covers. So I'm going to go through those real quick. Um, Gwen on versus Carnage, issue number two. Sorry, I should show this first. Sign, each one, well, the ones that sign comes with. Uh, COAs on the back too from Secret of Heroes. This is issue one, Virgin Variant. And this one, uh, can't remember what the hell this was. Another cool David Nakam <laughs> Virgin Variant. It's not COAs on the back also. Um, and those are those. And last but not least, in that Virgin pack, it came with this. Bill Sinkiewicz, Sinkiewicz, however you guys would like to say it. But I thought it was an awesome foil variant. You got Master Splinter and Shredder on the back. Hope you guys can see it pretty well. On the front, you have your turtles, of course. The four original turtles. Pretty cool cover, man. So all of those are from Street Level Heroes. I'm sorry if I didn't get all the information, guys. Like I said, it's, it's a lot when it comes to version variants. Trying to track all that down. But um, those are all my wife's books. So I'm going to go into more of my books. Uh, and I'm going to start with some more recent stuff. Give me a second. All right. So you guys seen a lot of... Um, so I first seen the Doom Shows book on uh, Instagram. And I just I told them I like how it looks like, you know, 90s. Uh, trading cards from like Marvel and all that good stuff. So I had to pick up a copy. I got it from a Honey Hole um, online. Um, I have not been doing a lot of digging uh, this year so far. Well, we started. But in the past couple weeks, my wife and I both had COVID. So we both are vaccinated and everything. So it wasn't horrible, but it just put us down for, you know, the quarantine period. Um, so we did a, a lot more online, whatnot, Instagram, hunting uh, digital honey than anything else. Um, seen a guy who had, I'm gonna go and show it. He had this on his Instagram, man. And I thought this was just amazing, amazing. Uh, something is killing the children cover. It's issue number 11. Uh, so one in 100 variant, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I thought it was a super dope. It's a homage to, uh, Department of Truth number one. So if you guys seen that, I'll try to put a picture up to compare it to uh, when I do the edit and all that. But just thought it was a super dope cover. Uh, it's not cheap. I, I'll try to list the prices up here where this goes for as well. But I just thought this was an amazing, amazing cover. And saw one, did some hackling, scoop one up, not complaining about it. Okay. Uh, Black Cat, this is Lee and Huke. Oh, and Huck, Lee. Very uh, Spider-Man the Black Cat Strikes number five. Just that's super cool, man. Another uh, book I seen on Instagram somebody had, and then um, you know scooping a copy up. It's, it goes for cheap. Well, it goes for like forty or fifty, really. If you look on eBay, but um, you can look on other sites. You can find it for cheap too. So hopefully, oh, I'm sorry, could have you got some better framing for that. Move these out the way. Boom. I got a few slabs to go through too. That's why I said I'm trying to make this whole kind of kind of fast. Ah, should have did this with more David Nakayama. You guys know this one already. You've seen it a thousand times. 
uh, the death of Doctor Strange, Bloodstone. Got this from my comic shop. My comic shop is literally like twenty minutes from me, so it's just a cool spot to go to pick up some some books, especially like new comic book day stuff. Um, I wanted this one because all right, I'm gonna show you some other books. I bought some books from my wife, or my wife bought some books. I even word it. And um, some years back, and I was just going through some stuff just to just to move, making room for other stuff in the, in the, in the collection, and ended up selling. A nine eight of this that I didn't know she wanted to keep. So this is a nine eight candidate. It will be pressed and clean. <laughs> it hopes to <laughs> make up for that. So you guys know it's like when your wife touches the food on your plate. My wife is the same with me touching the comics. I didn't know, you know. I can remember who bought it at the time. So like, ah, it's a good time to say it. Riri's went warming up. So she's like, no, I want to keep that. So. <laughs> <laughs> had to come back and make up for that shit. Um, this one, this is one I've been chasing, but this is this is one of two tra Transformers variants I'm really looking for. Uh, this is Transformers number forty six. Hold it, guys. Let's see. Boom. But this is a Rhode Island Comic Con variant. Super cheap book. Like it's not expensive at all. You can get it from anywhere. Um, which is surprising for a Comic Con or a con exclusive. But uh, ten bucks or less, man. If you see anything higher for this book, don't don't spend it, okay? But just amazing, I thought. You know, in my opinion, um, Optimus Prime and Megatron cover of them fighting. But there's this other one I'm really trying to track down, and it's sold uh, on eBay recently. But I wasn't able to get it because I just I didn't think one would show up. Um, keeping it moving. I saw a guy on Instagram. He had. He had four copies. He's had more, really. But um, he was looking to move all his copies or push all his copies to CGC. I asked him, does he mind, uh, do he mind, you know, before he did so, can we work out a deal? Um, the deal was in his favor for his uh, cash codes. Because, uh, well, whatever. I don't care. He, he asked for what it goes for online right now, which didn't bother me. I, I really wanted a copy. It is a near mint copy. If I had to guess right now without a press, let's say like nine two. So let's say we come back a nine four nine six. I'm I'm happy. If it gets to nine eight grade, I, I hey even more right. Um, I think I do believe in Essel Bloodstone. Like I told you guys, I believe in Marvel uh, coming out with the Midnight Suns. And if they go with the new team up, you know I believe it's gonna happen because I mean it just to me it makes sense, right? You, you coming out with books like this, why aren't you gonna come out with the character? At some point, right? You're trying to get this hype for, in my opinion. I could be totally wrong. I don't get paid by Marvel or DC or anybody else. I just, I'm just a guy who likes pretty books. And um, try to think through what can, you know, if I needed to sell some, what can make some more money to get more pretty books. So, call it spec. Call it just a, a guy on YouTube or on Instagram just talking. It's all the same. But, um, next book, keeping up with or building up to kind of like how I think. Um, Marvel's gonna go uh, with the Midnight Suns and all that. Brother Voodoo is a part of the new Midnight Suns. This is a book I don't see too many people with. Um, most of the ones on eBay are, are pretty damaged. I'm gonna be honest about it. Um, so you gotta track one out that's pretty clean if you can. So I don't know if it came like that or people just mishandled this book, just not knowing that or if Brother Voodoo would be a thing. This was. Oh, excuse me. I'm probably I'm drinking some Heineken. This is called Doctor Voodoo: The Origin of Jericho Drum. It's a Philip Tan cover. Uh, January 10. If you guys need all the info, but if you can find one, definitely I would recommend it, man. I don't. Again, I don't know. It's just a pretty book to me. I like Philip Tan as an artist. Um, and like I said, I have I have faith in. You know, maybe one day we'll see some Brother Voodoo or Dr. Voodoo down the road. So, either way, I love this cover. I'm keeping it. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, heard a rumor, right? This is one of the things that can keep you from your grills. Um, so, I, I'm going to give you that tidbit, too. I saw this video. This guy said, hey, if you want to chase your grill, you got to stop speculating, right? A little bit. Just until you obtain the funds to get your grill. So that's what I did. I stopped speculating for a while, so I bought this, and I went back to speculating. 
<laughs> right, so I saw a um, I saw a YouTube video. It said something about magic, right? Magic may appear in you know, I mean, shit. At this point, anybody can appear in Doctor Strange too, right? So take it with a grain of salt. Don't take it at all. Just take the cover in. Say you like the cover. It's all, all the same with me, right? But um, I like this cover. I had it before. Got it graded. Had a nine four nine six. Sold it. Regretted it. Pop, copy popped up on eBay. I hit buy now. Period. Right. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. I think it's another near mint. Probably like a nine two nine four. Um, again, this is why I'm trying to get this haul out because I have to sit down with my wife and pick out what books she wants to get graded. Books I want to get graded, and right now this is um, in the lineup to to go. So, uh, that's it for his raw books, guys. Okay. So, slap. That's what I'm trying to do this haul, and hopefully everything shares space with my my boo. Um, I back to the story. I told you guys I I messed up and sold some of my white books. So, uh, she had the sketch of this right. That's a different number for things like TMNT sixty seven. I could be totally wrong. It's a sketch variant of the same book. And um, they're very limited. And I didn't know at the time. I never looked at the back of it. But like this one. This is limited to 500. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty clearly. All right. This is the color variant. She had the black and white. Which was a little bit more limited. I ended up selling it on eBay the same time I sold. Same time I sold that um, Iron Man. Uh, first Riri. And then the guy who who I sold it to said that's not a book he wanted. He thought of something else. And then, you know, I tried to ask him back then. You know, it was like a month or two ago. Hey, do you um do you want you know your money back? Can you send the book back? He's like, no, it's a pretty book. I keep it. I can't find the the short of it. I can't find the sketch and variant of this. Um, to save my life, now to make it out to my wife. So end up getting this for her, or she ended up getting this for herself. I forgot exactly how that went down recently because this has been a lot of books coming in um to make up for these sketch it was exact same everything it was just black and white or white and black right so that's <laughs> mm, back to speculation right um again get what you can get don't chase everything um i saw the same video and i should post the link if i can find it again but the video is talking about how Black Knight may link to Noel, right? Which I was like, okay. At the time I listened to the video, the dude had some 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 points that kind of made sense, right? So I had a little bit on eBay for this one, um, and I was like, hey, if I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna get go and get a nine eight. Word out a deal. Because I don't never know when people want to give their names and stuff out. I don't. So, um, some people ask and they say yes. Yeah. Some people ask and they say no. So, I don't give out everybody's information if I buy something from some from them. But, um, so I'm not going to give the information out for who I got this from. Unless the gentleman uh, wants him, himself to be known. But what this is, right? This is my wife's birthday present. She's already seen it. She wanted to open that same day. Um, only reason why is because the male lady came or the male lady took vacation for a day or two because her child was sick and, uh, some other person came and the mail didn't run until like nine o'clock that night. Right. So I go get this box out. The, my wife's there watching TV and I'm walking in the door with this box because I see it got delivered. So that's the story behind this one. But anyway, Sons of Anarchy, if you've ever been a Sons of Anarchy fan, you enjoyed the show or whatever, this is, um... From series, the first series, this is like the cover art that was inside a DVD case, so it's not. But they made it a virgin variant. And it's the photo virgin cover. It is literally only three of these on the CGC census. Okay. Um, my wife made her 2022 wish list for this year for books. And she made a birthday list, right? My wife's birthday is in February. She was like, hey, I want this book. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> All right, cool. So, I mean, I did what I had to do to try to track it down. And luckily, 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 um, a good buddy had a copy um, from an old post. It was raw. I know he had to grade it. And we worked out a deal. So, I told him thank you again, brother. If you're watching this video, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, thank you again. I didn't put your information out there. But just know from, like, literally, 
you know, my wife and I truly appreciate you allowing this to, to be rehomed. Thank you. Um, next book. I didn't get the info on this one. So I apologize. I should have. Um, I just, I just, I, I messed up. So kick me later, blame me later, whatever you want to do. Uh, but this book right here, Lock and Key, The Sandman Hill and Gone, number one, uh, Virgin Bear. There's a, um, there's a trade dress one of this too. It's super beautiful either way. I just love the colors. I look at this thing a few times a day and I just see different stuff I always like on it. Um, just so you guys can see the information on the back. You can see the artist right here too. The four zone. Zoom, baby, zoom, baby. There you go. All right. But... If you can get your hands on any one of these, I, I think you will enjoy it. This, the colors are amazing. They pop on this all black background. I said when I saw it, I had to get a 9-8 because I didn't want to deal with any spine ticks on this one. And I knew I want to get it slapped anyway. So, same thing. This was doing the, the two weeks of Memo White's quarantine. <laughs> and then, you know, it ended up working out. Um, I'm almost done, guys. I got uh, like three or four more books. So, I'm going to go here. This one right here, um, I looked on, I'm going to give a story. If I got to edit this video, I edit this video. Um, I saw this book because you guys see my, if you've seen my last haul video, you know, I got uh, the same book, not this one, the same series, excuse me, issue one, uh, the Diodato variant. I was like, man, and I found out about the new, um, Social Supreme in there, the female and all this good stuff. I'm like, let me find out what issue two is about. Cause you know, I know <laughs> I know across the community right now, the whole first appearance, cameo appearance thing was a thing, is is currently an ongoing thing. And I didn't want to have to deal with that. So um I looked up issue two and I saw this very and I was like, Oh my god, this thing is super, super amazing. And you know, in my opinion, again you buy what you like. And I wanted a copy. It doesn't, you know, say anything like Second, full, full, none of the bullshit on the right side, which I'm fine with because I just care about the cover. But, um, love it, love it, love it. Irvin variant, hopefully, it zooms. If not, I got my beer in my hand. I'm drunk. All right, um, beautiful Dot Strange cover. Uh, again, I, it was a cover, it was a cover by slash just tracking out some info about characters that seems interesting. I'm keeping it for the cover, but the story to go with this. I shot it off to the seller. I saw it was two watchers, so myself and somebody else, right? Um, I hit him, hit my boy up, Martian Comic Hunter. Hey man, I just scooped this book. He's like, bro, I was literally looking at the same one. So he was the other watcher. So brother, I'm sorry. I will make sure that you're taking care of one or the other. Though. That's all I gotta say. All right, I leave it at that. Next book. Um, no, second to last book, am I right? No, wrong. All right, yeah, second to last book. I'm almost done with this haul, guys, so I apologize. It's going on too long. Uh, I think you all know. Um, Kate Bishop blew it out of the park, right, in Hawkeye. So hopefully that's ongoing. going. Um, we already know the deal with Wiccan and um, Speed. So we'll see what's what with that. I'm not worried about Hawkling too much. Um, whatever. The book is gorgeous. You guys know, for a while I was tra tracking down the uh, partial sketch variants. And I ended up getting a couple of them. I never had this one in my collection. Me and my wife talked about it. She agreed that, hey, this may be a good something to hold on to for now. So we got this in a CBCS uh, 9-8. Um, just cool, hard to find, um, Young Avengers covers. And last but not least, just so the two are sitting side by freaking side is this, right? So, again, back to my wife's um, birthday wish list, 2022 comic book wish list. Um, this was up there, right? So, uh, yeah, she she wanted it. The, the giant size X-Men was something of hers as well. Um, and that, you know, from last all you guys seen that one, this was a part of the next big book she wanted. And, you know, I'm not going to turn down 
having a 181 in the house. <laughs> like, what? So we end up scooping it. Um, super, super happy. The thing is so stupid, right? Like, I'm super... She's hype about this. I'm hype about that, right? Both are great books. Everybody has their own collecting style. So I'm not going to say one thing or the other. Um, I like having both. I've been considering moving into more Silver Age stuff. Um... But we'll see. I, I, I'm going to keep it easy and keep it short. We'll see. So, guys, this is my haul. I, I know it went a little bit long, but not as long as the last one. Uh, I do have my next haul prepped. Mine is a few books that still has to make it into, make it in from the mail. Um, and then I get that going as well. Because, again, I'm trying to get this CGC box. So, so into, you know, he got freaking issues to do his, his magic. And then from there on to the CGC. So I do have a CGC submission that's already out. When that's come back in, when that arrives, I do an unboxing of that. But that's really it for the next about month or so, guys, from me. Um, but you guys take care, stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. Um, keep sharing your great books within the community, IG, so on and so forth. And um, y'all, y'all take it easy, man. Be humble, whatever you do with your collection. Enjoy it. Be humble with it. You know, if you can, you know, bless somebody else with something, meaning like rehome, you know, cut them a deal, do it, right? And, and I mean, and I ain't trying to say like cut me some slack for something, right? But I just mean, I, I'm, I, I feel good. I feel blessed. I feel humbled by the fact that my wife and I was able to get some books that, um, and, you know, the years of collecting, we never, my years of collecting, her recent collecting, never thought we would actually have in a home. So it feels good, man. It really does. It feels wholesome to come in and see the things that your hard working efforts allow you to also enjoy with the people you love so um that's it it's my little tidbit it's my little spiel triple c i'm out y'all take care